हेलो एवरीवन सो नाउ विल बी डूइंग द एटीन क्वेश्चन आइडली इट इज़ द प्रिव्यू क्वेश्चन नंबर वन सो दैट कम्स अस टू बी द एटीन क्वेश्चन इन आर सीरीज सो लेट्स जस्ट स्टार्ट विद इट इज ई टी सी डी इन्फॉर्मेशन दैट वी हैव टू चेक अपॉन द क्लस्टर एडमिन आज जस्ट टू फाइंड आउट द फॉलोइंग इन्फॉर्मेशन अबाउट द ई टी सी डी रनिंग ऑन दिस नोड फर्स्टली वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट द प्राइवेट की लोकेशन um for the server then we have to see the expiry date of the certificate lastly we need to check if authentication is enabled for the certification or not okay and we need to store in this file so firstly we'll just ssh into the node and we'll check the info we we'll just do a quick cat to see if anything is here or not Okay, this file doesn't exist, so we'll just do a vim, and we'll copy all these three things over here. Okay, so just give colon so that we can paste each thing over here, and just exit. so the very first part of the question is to find the private key location uh but firstly we need to check if etcd is running or not get pods in the cube system that we have you can see over here and just check where all the manifest reside you see your is the manifest just do a cat for it okay we would have to do a vim it says permission denied maybe we have to do the sudo permissions okay yeah so if you see over here the private key hyphen hyphen key is the server dot key this is the location copy it and firstly we'll just take this and copy it into the file when private key is located at this location okay and next we have to check the expiry of the certificate that we have which is at this location copy this path and do a cat okay so we have to use the open ssl command again to fetch the data open ssl to view the certificate okay so this is what it is paste it over here and then there is this whole path which is for the etc kubernetes pki etcd and the server dot crt okay so this is the location that we have taken okay now check the validity till when it is valid till feb 20th 2026 copy this again go back to your file make sure you add this over here yeah and third part says to check the certificate authentication if 
it is enabled or not so again we'll do a vim to the etcd yaml and there is a flag for it yeah you can see over here it is true so that means it is enabled just write a yes over here yeah and that brings us to the end of the question so we have completed all the three infos that they have asked for now let's switch on to the another question